as long as we lack power satan will celebrate satan will rule through immorality he will rule through violence he will rule through idol worship and every man's heart will tilt in the direction of the manipulation of the kingdom of darkness if we are without power it is frustrating attempting to be a pastor without power it is frustrating trying to preach truth that has no backup you know the missionaries came with came to us and they came with the truth but they did not come with the power to back it up and that's why Ezemo is still in the land darkness is still in the territory because even though the message they brought was true they could not prove it and there is a more had the ability to prove what he was doing so he still had more followers hallelujah part of the destiny of the african church is to take back the truth which is no longer in the west back to the west in an accompaniment with crude oil crude power serious power because we england is now a mission field and those of us that will take the gospel there will not go back just with truth as it was brought to us we'll go back with an accompaniment of power that will defy any form of doctrine that has sustained their philosophy until this time jesus made us understand that if we're going to be relevant in the earth then we must have supernatural capacity to bring about changes in the land and in the territory so he said ye shall receive what okay let me take you further hallelujah in the greek language Greek is a very bogus language. And for instance, there are four words for power. The first word for power, which is the word that was used in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, is dunamis. Are you here? And dunamis has two meanings. The first meaning is potential energy. Please help me tell your neighbor potential energy. Now, how many of you know crude oil? Crude oil. You've heard of it before? All right. Crude oil happens to be a complex mixture of hydrocarbons. Crude oil is not useful in its crude state unless it is subjected to fractional distillation. A refinery is actually a fractional distillation column. For those of you that are chemical engineers, you know what I'm talking about. You introduce the raw crude oil into the refinery and then you bless, you bless it with temperature. Then the, the fractions that are in the crude oil will begin to distill at separate temperatures. The first thing that comes out of the refinery when you introduce high temperature is the gaseous associated gases. Part of these gases include the LPG that you use for your cooking. And then the heavier, the lighter liquids will begin to find expression. Liquids like um, aviation turbine kerosene, the kind of kerosene that is used to power jet engines. Liquids like um, 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 premium motor spirit, which is what you call petrol. And then you now have automotive gas oil, which is what you call diesel. And then heavier liquids will begin to fractionate at their own specific temperatures. And you can take off those items at those specific temperatures they are useful. As far as the arrangement in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 is concerned, are you with me? The Holy Ghost happens to be 
a compendium of everything that God wants to give to you. But it's a complex mixture. And except you pass that spiritual capital through the refinery, you might not realize some of the things that you are demanding from God. You are expecting from God. Are you with me? The refinery of speaking in tongues is what you must subject the Holy Ghost to. The Holy Ghost that you have received, you must subject it to the refinery of speaking in tongues. If you speak in tongues for at least four hours, you are likely to stumble on wisdom. Just in case you come to church confused. And there are four relationships in your life which I don't know how four people propose to you. I don't even know how that happened. But if that is your case, if that is your case, and you want to test to know which one is of God, I, I recommend dry fasting with prayer, four hours prayer every day. If you do it for seven days, you will find out. Wisdom is in that complex mixture, but except you subject it to a refinery, the fine fractions which are beneficial to your daily life might not precipitate from that which you have received. Many of us have the Holy Ghost, but you are lazy. And you are expecting the best of God. What Jesus did when he gave us the Holy Ghost was that he transferred the responsibility of usage. He transferred the responsibility of usage to us. As long as you are baptized with the Holy Ghost, it is no longer up to God, it is up to you. Please help me tell your neighbor it's up to you. You need to know how to set on your refinery. If you decide to be praying in tongues for 30 minutes, for instance, the Holy Spirit will measure out a possibility of life that is commensurate to 30 minutes of engagement and that will be your reality. If you decide to pray for one hour every day, the Holy Ghost will also measure back to you possibilities of life that are consistent with your investment. If you decide that you will be operating on two hours of prayer every day, exercising your spirit, the, the possibilities within the range of two hour prayer is what your daily life and possibility will be about. So your current experience today is a function of your willingness to switch on your refinery. So please tell your neighbor, help me preach to your neighbor, <laughs> switch on your refinery. <laughs> oh yeah, my courier. Once upon a time, I rented a house. I never knew that the reason why the house was available for rent when I came was that it was confirmed that the house was haunted. There were spirits inside of the house. So people that come and pay the rent, they don't stay there for one month. They leave the rent and run away for their life. So I now came and said, ah, this is a good property. And I did not know that the reason why other people too noticed it was a good property. But the reason why it was empty was because nobody could stay inside. And when I, when I asked how much it was, they say 80,000. Ha! That's too cheap. So I paid for two years. And I, I was, I, I gave glory to God. Called the man that lays rug and he put rug everywhere. I said, this is a fine place. Hallelujah. In the night. Aiko Salamonte Ekamu. White can turn black. Black can turn white. The whole place will be as if we are in a studio. Hawoo, hawoo, hawoo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Unknown for the spirits that have been playing ball there, I'm a man of fire. <laughs> so I switched on the refinery. And the refinery began to, to walk. All night, every night. All night, every night. All night, every night. Even the spirits knew that a madman had come into their, into their football field. And one of those nights, I was in prayer. 
and I had a vision and I saw a witch. She projected as if she wanted to strike me and I said, I strike you with blindness and then the vision left. It's okay. Then somebody came to visit me over the weekend and the person said, ah, my grandmother is living at the back there. She just became suddenly blind. Ah, I said, ah. Oh. Oh! So it was not as if the place was haunted. There were witches were using the house for meeting. I said, when you go to visit, you send her a message from the pastor that stays here. We, we know our secret. Once the refinery was set on, every darkness that was kindled in that place had to bow. Please help me tell your neighbor, when will you switch on your refinery? Most of the things we cry about, most of the things we are afraid of, are things that should be afraid of you. If only you can switch on your refinery, the deposit of spiritual capital will begin to manifest. Many things will flow out of your vessel. For Jesus had said, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. There are rivers that will break out from your system just because you have believed on him as the scriptures have said. The second meaning of the word dunamis is inherent. Inherent energy. Uh, my phone is a Samsung phone. And it runs on an Android operating system. And if you have a phone with an Android, it means it is Google Store that you will go for your applications. If you are looking for an application and you go to Google Store, you find it and you accept the terms and conditions of the company that built the application, it begins to download upon your phone. If you have 100% download, you don't need to go back to the company to ask them for permission to use the application because the application is now one with your phone. This dynamics that Jesus promised his disciples was a system of possibility that was going to be one with your spirit. Are you with me? By, by so doing, what God has done is that he has transferred the responsibility of usage to you. Just like you don't go back to Google to take permission to use the application that is on your phone. You operate that system of spiritual capital at will. In fact, speaking in tongues happens to be the only gift we have received from the Holy Spirit that you can use at will. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul said that I will pray in the spirit. I will pray in my understanding also. That is to say that it's up to you to decide how much of this spiritual capital you are willing to use on a daily basis. When I discovered that it is up to me to use, I wanted to see how far I could pray. And so some Saturdays I shut down and I begin to speak in tongues. I, I started, I did four Four hours the first Saturday. Next Saturday I came, I did six hours. Next Saturday I did eight, uh, eight hours. And the time came when I prayed in tongues for 18 hours. I said, so, okay. So if I want to go, the, the system will support me. You are prayerless. That's why you are still fornicating. You saw a woman's breast and your leg began to shake like this. It, it's a proof that you, you don't know fire. <laughs> It's a proof that your refinery has broken down. It's a proof that you are not willing to come out of your situation. Because the day you become willing to come out of that situation and you begin to engage prayer, you will find out that the things that you call your weakness previously, you will pass from before them and go to a land where they don't exist. Oh my God. We miss so much when we refuse to engage God. Because built into that facility is the possibility to engage God and to travel in the spirit. 
if you are willing to pay the price what you call your weakness today god will strip you of every ounce of that weakness and release you into your destiny if you are still here say amen, amen. so that's the baptism in the holy ghost but that's not all that the baptizer does in the book of matthew chapter 3 the bible says he will baptize you one with the holy ghost then number two he will baptize you with what fire you see the baptism of fire is a wonderful spiritual experience meanwhile the baptism of fire it comes on the foundation of the baptism of the holy ghost when you are baptized in the holy ghost and you decide to begin to run 